Now what? We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold contention. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The Abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. It's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock and a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Peter Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying her fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. I guess it has to be done, because you're flarked without me. Remember that. I wish you cared about us as much as you cared about your gadgets. Get out of my room, Quill. What are you doing here? Leave! Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. Uh, Rocket? Flark off, Quill! Come on, guys. I am Groot. Groot says, go away. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. Nowhere, here we come. Ah, 
out of nowhere. Last space port on the edge of the known universe and home to the best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wonder what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. <laughs> and nowhere. And as such, probably deals in Novacore all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! A rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I can't wait to see the rift. Didn't think I'd miss nowhere this much. The attachment we feel to certain places. That was a great people. What about Rocket and Groot? What about them? They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does not need to be sincere. Then what's the point? I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Let's get out of We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market to help. Maybe. The Cosmo deals with Nova Corps all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Hey there! I need to talk to Cosmo. He and his tower? Be good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of missed the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, we met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave, but it befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. Keep an eye on your things. These poops are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. He's gone, Drax. His death helped end the war. You are his adopted daughter. Have you been with him? Mantis, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you. 
Hi. Sun Lord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Star Lord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi. I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh, hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're gonna keep making that face. It was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green mini. Okay. Bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You are being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand your reluctance to discuss her. Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. Huh. Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't... Just ignore me! We gotta talk about this! <laughs> so... You want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you've captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? Think you got me confused with somebody else, pal? Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, huh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your shit together. You're more than just... I know that's blonde mop anywhere. Eat the queer. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordelia. With your bridges, my friend. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here. But I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you? Forget about me. No, no, <laughs> no, I, uh, I don't remember meeting you, man. Sorry. How the hell could you forget? Look, look, there was a couple of years there where uh, things got a little bit blurry, okay? There. You know, picking up missions, strange women, alien alcohol. So just like now? I can't believe this. 
You and me. Storm riders. Together till the end. What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh. It's a song. Right? It is. Of course it's a song. The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. We did? Unbreakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Of course, I, I remember. You, you me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time. Here we go. You uh wanted to sing a song. Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this stone gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a like rider, storm, storm, storm rider, storm rider, storm rider, storm rider. Very naughty. <laughs> Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. <laughs> Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More. Together till the end, now we look to the sky! Lightning strikes twice, now it's us to the fly! Sing with me, Vita! Driving through, through the, the pouring rain! Pouring rain. Ride, Ride the song! So ready! For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good times, good times, good times! You running the Ravagers now? I hear Yondu's doing time in the kiln. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacore. Now my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Uh, so, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. <laughs> Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Uh, well, listen, Ita. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me? Oh, I would uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Alright, so. I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember, Nice one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized you would not be killed. <sighs> Great. Yeah, off the house. Really? 
Thanks. Least I can do. If you hadn't talked him down, I'd have to close up and get the biohazard team in to clean your brains off everything. Right. Thanks, I guess. Don't mention it. Real enough to me. You want to know another secret? Something big is happening. Something great. Do you want to hear about it? If you're trying to calm me into buying you around, it's not gonna work. Am I crazy or were Rocket and Groot picking up a job? Look that way, yeah. I they're too cynical for me. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Uh... Guess I go talk to Cosmo alone. Welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the Illustria Symporium, private collection of Tanalir Tivan, the premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, do you like to take the tour? I'd love a tour. Oh, I have this. I think I get in for free, right? Oh my! You must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. Dude, no way! Welcome to the Emporium Gift Shop. Great selection. Kind of neat. Huh, interesting. It's not good. No way! How'd they get that?
Uh, hey there. Greetings. I hope you enjoyed the Emporium. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objedar, in other words. Figures? Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's not a doll, but think she'd like this? With how you described her? No, not at all. It's just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. about that, me and Cosmo understand each other. It's skill couldn't be super fun the ball win the pariahs, what do you say? This isn't one of those games where I have no chance of winning, is it? Captain, Captain, Captain. Don't you know your onions, Captain? The good Bolshevik cleaned up the boardwalk. No grip, no crap, no cheats, no cons, no sir. So I can win. How about this, Captain? We play a friendly low stakes game just to prove that I'm on the up to look. What do you say, Captain? What do you say? Fine. I'm in. But don't try anything funny. Not me, Captain. Not me. I run my game straight as an arrow. See? The ball's in this cup. Now, keep your eyes glued as it moves. All right, all right. The cups are set. Uh, the middle one. Where the hell I'll be? You got it, Captain. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Congratulations. You got a shot pair of peepers. Here's your winnings. See? My game's on the level and plum true. A game of chance means you always have a chance to win. I guess you're right. Sharp as attack, Captain. How about we play again? Maybe raise the stakes just a smidgen? Start shuffling and get ready to pay out. Oh, what confidence! That's what I like to see. Keep your eye on the cup with the ball. Here we go, Captain. The ball's in the middle. Oh, no. That's too bad. And Captain, looks like you lose. She was positive that's where the ball was. The eyes play tricks. Sometimes an iron can't keep up. Something tells me it's not my eyes playing tricks. A nasty bob, Captain. Thanks for the letters. Have yourself a fun day. Hey, wait. Come back here.
Maybe a gaudy bauble will make me feel better. Might as well get something to commemorate the time my team ditched me. That's actually pretty cool. And buying it made me feel better. Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go out the way. Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo not in tower. He out there. Star Lord. In Ali. Wait, how did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo Prison. You choose. Cosmo? You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo. Then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. Peter, there's something out there. But I won't tell you what it is, because I think being distant makes me mysterious. Cosmo? That you? Oh, I hate mazes, especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude, deep breath. Deep breath. You, Flark and Humey. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Flark! I give myself a heart attack. Here. 
Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rosin? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh, I heard nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star-Lord. Either way... Get him! We've been hired to bother some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, uh lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one the lady wanted, so hurry up and die! Wait, did Lady Ace want him alive? Indeed. <laughs> uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hailbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice! You don't cross Lady H! Uh, uh, triple! Uh, oh, I'll triple it! Yeah, now, Ross. Get crushed! Let's talk about this! Scrawny little Terran is scared! Ugh. Gonna snap him in two! Anybody think to bring refreshments? He's trying to weasel out of a beat! Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. <sighs> Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! Ah, no, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. <laughs> 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 Peter! Shoot now! We need to keep them separated! <laughs> Draw them apart before shooting, Peter! <laughs> we need to split them up! I don't like teamwork when it's on the other side! Just 
Sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... Something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What sort of enemies? I'm not sure exactly. His people were at war. And he knew that if he stayed with us, the war would follow him to Earth. So he made the hard choice. He gave up this life for the sake of his people. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're going to have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back. <laughs> Sick. 
Sick. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Please, no! 